A broadcast allows you to send emails to one contact, multiple contacts, and groups of contacts. That way you can easily customize a marketing email and send it out to everyone within a few clicks. And to avoid that dreadful spam and junk folder, our broadcast system sends these emails out one by one in full HTML format so you can be confident that your emails will have the best chance of getting through to its destination. And most importantly, when a consumer opens your email on their phone, your email will automatically adjust to the size of the screen so your customers will always have the best viewing experience from any device. So now let's take a moment to create and send a broadcast. To access your broadcast system, log into Prime Agent and click on CRM, then click on Broadcast. On this page, we've added some helpful steps to get you going in the right direction. And to get started, just click on Begin. Clicking Begin will initiate the Broadcast Wizard, which will guide you through four easy steps to create and send your broadcast. Step one will have you select the template to use for your marketing email. When I open the broadcast templates, currently we have one option. To preview that template, simply click on the magnifying icon here and it will open up a full preview. This template includes a Realty Executives logo at the top and then you will notice these dotted borders which represent the areas within the email that you will be able to edit. Now since we are on the preview screen, we can't edit anything from here. So in order to make edits, we will need to proceed to the next step. So we can either do that by clicking the next button here or we can go back to the first screen, we can select the template, and then click Next to go to step two for editing. On step two, you will first want to add a subject line for your email. We also give you the flexibility when to send this email out. We can send it out now, or we can actually choose a specific date and time to send it out on. Then when we scroll down, you will see the dotted border areas that allow you to customize the email. Our editor allows you to add text, mail merge fields, images and links, and each email automatically inserts your profile photo and contact information at the bottom. This profile information pulls directly from your My Account settings in Prime Agent. Now, to add a mail merge field such as Dear Jane, click into the content area, and then from the right side of the toolbar, click on Mail Merge, and you will see options for sender and recipient messages. In this example, I'm going to select recipient's first name, so that way my email here will be personalized with the first name of each contact who is scheduled to receive this email. If you want to add an image, click into the content area and then choose insert, insert image and proceed with the steps to choose an image from your computer or to choose an existing image. And finally, to add a hyperlink, click on insert, insert link and identify the text and URL that goes along with this link. Now once everything looks good, click Next to go to Step 3. Here on Step 3, we can now identify which contacts are going to receive this email. The contacts shown here are pulling directly from your Prime Agent Contact Manager. We can choose groups of contacts and or individual contacts for this outgoing email. We've also added features to make it convenient to search for contacts and to add new contacts or groups from this screen. When you are ready, click Next for Step 4. So now Step 4 is the last step. First, we will want to create a title for this message because this comes in handy when we start to track the history of our broadcast messages. Once we add the title, here you can confirm the contacts that you've added to this broadcast and then click on Final Preview to make sure everything in your email is good to go before you send it off. If it is good, we can click Send to finish this broadcast or we can click here to go back and edit our broadcast. If we do go back to edit, once we've made the necessary changes, we can simply continue through the steps to finish our broadcast. But for this demonstration, I'm going to quit the wizard so we can get back to the primary broadcast page so we can look into the account status and broadcast history pages. So first, let's look in the broadcast history. From here, you will see a summary of all your broadcasts and we've included some important data that will help you track the results of your outgoing emails. We include tracking for all your sent emails, emails open, emails bounced, web link clicks, and unsubscribe users. Now this first page is meant to be an overall summary, but if you want specific details on a particular broadcast, you can just click here on the details button. On this page, you will see additional options that allow you to view all the contacts included in this email 
any groups that you have signed to this email and links that have been clicked within your email. With all of these new features, we want to make it easy for anyone to analyze the delivery and quality of their email content. Now to wrap this up, let's quickly go into account status. The account status page simply shows you the current broadcast plan that you are on and the details of what that plan includes. Additional plans and pricing are available and you can find those by clicking on the fee plans button. If you find another plan that you would like to subscribe to, go ahead and click on subscribe plan to make that change. With that said, this is only the beginning. We are already working on adding more features to the broadcast system and those will quickly be released over the coming months.